What is happening everybody? Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel and checking out this video. My name is Infamous Trickster and I'm going to be doing a little, little bit different video for you guys today. Uh, just because I've been getting a lot of questions regarding how I do a specific thing while I'm on stream. And uh, we're going to be getting into all the details and how to get it onto your stream. So what we're talking about is while I'm streaming, I'll show you guys right here. Now I have this animation here. This animation shows up while I'm on stream when someone subscribes on YouTube. Simultaneously, when I get a follower on Facebook Gaming, I also have an alert for that showing up on the screen as well. And donations show up along with any Twitch followers that come afterwards as well. Now, all of these are possible. Um, I don't pay anything uh, necessarily for uh, Streamlabs to be able to do this. This is something implemented into their system. So I just wanted to show you guys that you're able to do that all on Streamlabs OBS. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get that done. All right, now, when you log on to streamlabs.com, we're going to be looking at pretty much this page here. So what you'll do, you're going to go ahead to the top right here and click login. And you can select any one of these. It doesn't matter whatever you're going to be streaming to. Uh, for myself, I do stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Gaming and Periscope, which is um, Twitter. So you can log into any one of these. It doesn't necessarily matter to get what we're looking to get done. So just, just go ahead and switch to Twitch for now. Now this is what the uh, homepage kind of looks like as soon as you log into your Twitch account. Uh, you see like all your past streams and that kind of thing. So what you're going to do primarily, the first thing you want to do is go all the way down to the left side here and go to the settings cornerstone. We're going to click on that. And scroll back up to the top of the page now. So this is the settings menu here. So we're going to go over to account settings. And here you're actually going to be able to add and merge all of your specific accounts that you want to be streaming to. So for myself, like I mentioned, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope, which is Twitter. I have all of those attached at this point and um, they're all merged together onto my Streamlabs OBS account. Now this is a key in regards to being able to set up your alerts for all of these platforms. So, once you've gone ahead and merged all of your accounts, uh, what you can do just to make sure, you can go up to the top right here, click on where it shows Twitch or YouTube, whatever you selected to sign in with. And all of the accounts should show up here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I set up my alerts so that they all show up at the same time on stream. So you go over to the alert box. So the cornerstone on the left side here that says alert box. We're going to click on that. Now, keep in mind, we're still under Twitch at this point. So everything that's going to be showing here is regarding Twitch. So I've already set up everything the way I like it. Follows are set up. I have donations set up. I have hosts and you can get them all done as well. So once you're done all of that, keep in mind, this is for Twitch. You want to go ahead top right corner click on twitch or whatever you selected go to the next one so let's say we're going to go to try it on youtube now youtube we're going to do the exact same thing okay so now like i mentioned your accounts are already set up in streamlabs so as long as you click on the top right corner and you see all of your accounts that you had merged they all should show up here once they're here you know that they're all connected okay so again we're going to go to the different settings so donations you set up all your donations how you like them to be set up subscribers um, to whatever gif or video or picture that you want to uh, display and you're going to do that with all of your channels so every one of them you're going to go through every single uh, option that a, a viewer can do uh, whether it's a like whether it's a follow it's a subscribe sharing anything like that you're going to set those all up so that you can actually have them all show up on your stream Okay, and pretty much they're going to show up the way I showed you on mine here. 
um, anytime someone does like a share or they do any any of the actions that they're able to do based on whatever platform they're viewing from it'll show up on the screen and regardless of where they're watching from so if somebody likes it on youtube what you can do is the person that's actually watching on twitch or facebook or wherever everyone will see that um, displayed alert show up as well while you're streaming so the main way that i have this done on mine is i use two programs so i use Streamlabs OBS and Restream. Now what Restream is, it's a website that allows you to stream to multiple platforms. So it goes really well hand in hand with Streamlabs OBS. Now, like I mentioned, you don't necessarily have to pay anything for it. For myself, I do pay Restream to, pro, uh, to post videos on a public page. But if you wanted to do it just to a specific for your personal Facebook page, you don't have to pay any money for that. So that's pretty much how that works here. Pretty much what you're going to do is you want to go ahead to add whatever channels you want to use. And Restream has a, an array of channels that you can add to your profile. And I believe they have a specific uh, limited amount that you can, uh, that you can stream to. So um, based on that, you'll have to either decide if you wanted to put a little bit of money towards it. Um, if not, like I said, it's a completely free option where you can do to Twitch, YouTube, uh, Facebook, personal profile, uh, Periscope, all of those are free. So you can do it to all of those, no problem without paying at all. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to break it down. As I said, I had a lot of people asking uh, while I'm on stream how I do that and that kind of thing. So I figured I'd make a video and break down the different settings and that kind of thing that I do so that you're able to do the same thing for your stream. Okay. So I hope this was a helpful uh, video for you guys. If it was, definitely like the video. I appreciate it. And uh, if you could subscribe to the channel as well. Um, I will be doing some other videos. Just let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. And um, we'll be able to uh, work on those for you. I do want to mention as well that I do stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time um, on all of the platforms that I mentioned. That's YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Periscope. Tune in on any of those platforms and you'll be able to catch me live. Uh, you can ask me any questions or anything like that while I'm on stream. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, let me know uh, if you guys have any questions and I can definitely answer those for you. Okay. So until next time, and from Strixta, out.